GCN's top 10 things not to do on a bike. Have the dignity and the presence of mind to keep chat to a minimum when you're pressing on up climbs, particularly if the person next to you is having a bit of difficulty even maintaining the tempo, let alone having a conversation discussing the minutiae of carbon fibre layup. Don't put your mates into oxygen debt by expecting an answer. Leave chat to the cafe, or at least the easy bits. And don't try to have conversations with Grand Tour winners up climbs either. Need more training, eh? Why, oh why, would you want one of these utter monstrosities? I have just bought the coolest thing. Look at it. What top tube bag? What on earth is that? Well, it's a top tube bag. It's so practical, look. What do they add? Nothing, apart from drag, weight, and turning your bike into the equivalent of someone wearing an unironic bum bag. More fanny. I've got a vegan scone. And it's all aired out. I hardly hit my knees on it at all. If you want to carry stuff, use a mini saddlebag or your pockets or even panniers. They look black on black, and then there's... Uh, guys? Come on, we spend enough time attached hey. to our mobile devices there these days. Surely you don't need to be answering calls after we're actually out riding. By all means, take your cell phone with you in case Sorry. of emergencies, if you want to take a selfie at a beautiful area, or even if you want to catch up briefly when you're at the cafe stop. But have the decency and decorum to not answer calls when you're out riding yeah. and chatting yeah, yeah. with your chums. Oh, no worries, my dad won't be coming to call, it's fine. Uh, what? 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 Should you raise your arms in a joyous victory salute if you've not actually won a race? We're kind of sitting on the fence on this one, we're going to throw it out there. Is a win for a town sign or the top of a hill worthy of such celebratory antics, or should it be left to the confines of racing? Discuss. It's all too easy to glance at yourself in the reflection of a shop window as you roll through a town or city. All that shiny glass, just checking your legs for definition, and before you know it... Are you right, Matt? Yeah, I'll find you a gust of wind caught the front wheel on. Look at this. Oh, I'll be fine, you get yourselves up. I'll yeah. Be, I'll be fine. Alright, mate. As long as you're okay. Be careful. Just gonna stop and put my gilet on for this descent, mate. What are you doing? Well, there's no need for that, mate. I'm gonna do it on the move. Putting on a rain cape or gilet is a manoeuvre fraught with risk at the best of times, even for professionals with years of experience. Matt, are uh, you alright? Oh, hi, Alexis. Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. I just a gust of wind caught my front wheel. Okay, with practice, this can be done on a false flat plateau or straight gradual downhill, but we advise you to steer clear on the steep ones. <laughs> Next three, I'm, I'm hey guys! Oh. Hey! Hey Alexis, how you doing? I'm great, thanks, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I mean, how did you get on your races today? You hear these all the time out on club runs and group rides. That's legs. Yeah? But I went back to the cars to get bottles. Yeah? And then I came up and I was moving up the side and this massive dutchy chick totally flicked me with the dirt. To be quite frank, the rest of us don't really want to know why you got caught on the inside or that you just got back on after chasing and the move went. Or they wouldn't give me a turn and then they jumped me. I just missed it. I, I would have won. Uh, you know? Keep your excuses to yourself. It's just better that way. Hands down. It just sucks, you know? Bad luck. Can't believe it. <laughs> Take it home with you, or at least pop it in a bin. Gone are the days when it was acceptable. Hold on a minute. Was it ever acceptable to throw litter? No, we don't think so. I just stopped to empty all this rubbish. Matt, it's only 50 miles till we stop. It's really, really Stop complaining. Really. If you're training, racing, or in a sportive, stuff those gel and bar wrappers in your pocket. Do nature a favor. At TCM, we've actually petitioned the UCI to get this foul practice banned altogether. Well, we haven't actually, but we might at some point. Anyway, you get how we feel about this one, and we bet most of you know a few riders who are guilty of slowly pushing the pace, much to the irritation of your riding mates. Don't stand for it. If you want to go hard, go hard. Don't be stealthy and sneaky about it. This is a simple matter of group etiquette. 
We aren't talking about spitting per se, as this of course has to be done sometimes. Our problem is not giving due consideration to those riding immediately behind you and covering them in unwanted slobber. Here we go, alright. Let's go. Oh sh <laughs> Just, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Phil, please tell me you're filming this. So the skin's really, I get, I get allergies, it's all right, it's okay, I'll just, have a, I'll just have a rash for dinner, don't worry. Um, it just sucks, no bad luck. Can't believe it. 